how much of y'all completed. Uh, I'd love to say a lot, but uh, sadly that would be a big filthy lie. We have... I can't remember the last time y you were here, Doom. Was it on this mission where we have to transform 70% of the land? If it was, as you can see, uh, we're going great guns at the moment. We're, <laughs> we're up to 19%. But I'm hoping this is the this is the stream where we get to finish this one off because I'm hoping we've got to a bit of a tipping point based on the fact that we've claimed these two cities and are now starting to make some real progress in terms of converting the rest of the land. Sounds good, doesn't it? Almost sounds like I know what I'm talking about. We will see if that is true though. Anyway, hope you're all well. I have just had two mini eggs from uh, Easter, so I'm I'm absolutely fine. I'm really well. Dark chocolate, of course, because dark chocolate is my new thing. Love me some dark chocolate these days. So that's a little snippet for you if anyone would like to buy me some dark chocolate. That would be lovely. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got this guy as well with this voice actor. Loving it. Still loving it. Uh, we're going to send him back to guard this this whole area from any more armies which would emerge from the Legion capital. So this, this, is, this is a plan. There is a plan. And um, one thing you you missed in the last stream, Doom, was a, it was an exceedingly epic moment whereby we managed to pull off a heist using this thief against the Legion's capital and um, managed to get away with a princely sum of one gold piece. There's a 20% chance of that succeeding. We either lost the thief, which would have cost us 200 gold, or we gained one gold. <laughs> um, so there we go. I'm fading into the epic background music. Okay, that's, that's not a problem. Um, I, I do think that the desktop audio is slightly high. I'm going to turn that down instead if that's okay. Uh, I can't seem to get the, the, the microphone audio any higher uh, <laughs> unless I put some sort of gain on it and I'd probably bugger that up. So I'll, I've reduced the the game audio. I hope that's alright. It's balanced it out a little bit. Marvellous. Thank you. Hello mate. How are you doing? I love the title. Excellent. It was in a, it's in a win-win situation now. Let's face it. If we can uh, if we can pull off one gold piece every turn with a twenty percent chance of doing so, excellent. I think I probably turned it up um, just to sample some of the lovely voice acting in Heroes of Might and Magic. I think I probably did that, didn't I? So it's probably unusually loud. I apologise for anyone who was put off by that. Of course, you want to hear my voice, don't you? Right, well, what's happening with uh, slutty, slutty slut balls? Uh, that guy with the pa uh, the Modius is still about. Can we get to him? We can. Okay, Marvel Gargoyle, Anti Paladin, Modius. Can we take advantage of this? Modius, I think, does about 70 points of damage each turn to all units. Anti-Paladin, not a lot of damage. Marvel Gargoyle, not a lot of damage, but he is very tanky. So that would tank a lot of the damage from the Modius. Do you have any spells to help us? Uh, no. Golden coin you stole could be that duck from Disney's characters. Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Uh, literally swimming in a bath of one gold coin. Yeah, that's what I did at the weekend. Mm -hmm. Has a fire ward. Okay. That shouldn't affect us at all. Anti Paladin is very close to death. I think we might be able to do this. We can take a couple of hits from this Modius. Because if we give him one more turn, he's going to get back to that city and he's going to re resurrect his leader. And that would be quite sad. But 
nothing with which I can resurrect the Archdruidess, which is a shame. The extra damage from her would have been brilliant. I'm going to go for it. We may sustain some losses. It's going to stay in fight as well. Okay, they're concentrating on the Venerable Warrior. It was enough to kill him. Oh my, he's a level 8 Modius. Drawing strength from the fires of hell, Modius wreaks fiery havoc upon his enemies. 99 damage. You're going to have to go. God, he's got 215 HP. Oh, you needed 22 damage to the Gargoyle. I'm going to have to have a quick look at the Gargoyle. Uh, <laughs> this might be off to a horrible start. Oh, he's only level 2 because he can't upgrade. So he's 65 damage. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the Gargoyle because of Spumblers. I'm leaving it for when we do the Legion's playthrough. Okay, he's going for the giant. You should be able to kill him. Now the question is, can you kill Modius? I think he can. This might be in our favour. Because I, I kind of want Slutbeard to get maxed out level-wise before we continue on to the next mission. So that might not necessarily be bad. A healing scroll! Great. <sighs> I'm worried about this guy now because Slutbeard is very vulnerable. <laughs> GG getting OP would not be the... Um, is it anacronyms that I would use to describe that battle, but I appreciate it. I didn't buff myself, this is true. I'm going to have to use another spell though, in the form of the Chant of Hasting. I need to get Slutbeard away from this guy. That is priority. We can get him back to that city. That's probably not going to be any good. Maybe we should go this way. Uh, Alright, go this way then nothing really around here which is going to cause a problem. So I'm happy to go that way instead. <sighs> right, I'm, I'm not sieging that city with one person. A nice orange sword on Slutbeard. This is true. Good to see. Hi Alex, how are you doing? You missed me almost instantly failing with Slutbeard, but we managed to get rid of that very powerful army with the Mordius. Um, the the leader was dead, and the Antipaladin was heavily damaged. However, our Arch Druidess was also dead. But I threw caution to the wind, and it, it, well, we, we succeeded. Slutseeded, should I say. But the biggest problem was that the Mordius that was in the party was actually level 8. And therefore did 99 damage to all units. So they almost very much got wrecked. Wrecked a mundos. And winning disciples like that super OP. Join us or die with us. I quite like that. Um, I'm impressed with your wordplay, good sir. Slavery awaits the enemies of Mortis. I agree. I really enjoy battles like that. Weighing it up. It's good fun. It's good fun, especially when you succeed. It's, it's especially good when you succeed without cheesing it, if that makes sense when you succeed just because it was good planning rather than looking out and um, the enemies missed or your units didn't miss or something like that anyway you know what I mean anyway we got there go and get some tea mine 
I wouldn't blame you. You vote for armor. Might armor, might armor. <laughs> What's going on? Calculated. <laughs> nice. It's decent. Do a bit, love a bit of planning. Uh, we're not going with the leadership because we're sticking with a limit of four leadership on this leader. So, the choice was between might and armour, by the looks of things. Mine says armour, Doom says might and armour. Armour will push Slutbeard's armour up to 60%, which is nice. Might will give him an extra 25% chance, uh, extra 25% damage, sorry, to the attack. So that's another uh, 30 damage, I think. I don't know, I'm a bit torn. Accuracy, logical choice. Uh, his chance to hit is already at 89%, which is quite high. I don't know. I, I, I could, he could even do with uh, benefiting from advanced pathfinding, to be fair, because he's only got 34 movement points. Accuracy logical choice, fair enough. Because you didn't have a kappa at the end of your, at the end of your sentence, Alex. That of course implies sarcasm, doesn't it? On the internet. Sarcasm on the internet? What is this blasphemy? I think he's tanky enough at the moment. He's got 288 HP. He's got 40 armor. I think I'm going to go with might. Pure brute strength. Yes, that's true. So that pushed it up to 196 damage. I like that. I think that was the be the uh, the right choice. All right, the best choice. There is no right or wrong. Ooh, who do you want to fight with? You can you walk around? You're gonna have to go the scenic route. That's sad. Mm. Still don't think you can take that city single-handedly. I'm just gonna go after that thief because he's in the way. It's a rod planter somewhere, wasn't there? Feature. Okay, okie dokie. Didn't know we were using Caparos. No, we'd widowed. <laughs> um, the chat in this channel is surprisingly Kappa free. Or relatively, anyway. You don't really get that much trolling either. Not since the, uh, the heady days of I Like Pie. I don't know whether they might still. Um, lurk around. I enjoyed his trolling though. It was the good kind of trolling. Alright, that's all we're doing for now. I think that was the tipping point. The moment the legions lost that army, that was it. They're, they're, they're posing very little threat now. That's just being vindictive. Okay, that's fine. Twas to be expected. Oh, I don't even have the money. Mortis angers. Not my bloody fault. If the legions had more money to steal, I might have been able to buy that. I don't think he was going to accept the offer of one gold. Right, that's just him and a couple of possessed. We can take him, because we've got shit tons of leadership. I don't really want to garrison that city, because I think it's a waste of time. We can only get four units in there. It's, it's not going to be enough to repel that army. It's just going to be a waste of money, essentially. Yeah. Does the size of the city affect how much the terrain beneath will spread. I believe so, yes, Alex. I've not tested it 
uh, too much. Although, inter interestingly, if you have a level 5 city like this one here, let's say you have a piece of land, you've got one level 5 city there, and you've got your uh, capital there, the level 5 city will actually outpace the capital in terms of land spread. Which I always thought was interesting. It kind of makes the city more valuable land spreading wise, but I, I do believe that the higher the level city, the, the, the more land, or the faster the land will spread from it. Um, you should just stay there, I think. <laughs> How to rod planting fit into this? Sorry. Does that spread over time, or is it just a bit of terrain? Uh, the a rod left unchecked on a piece of land without any. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought now. Uh, uh, let's say this this land was completely cut off. Let's say there was a a, a mountain range going over here. This this rod would eventually spread to to engulf the entire land, albeit this small piece of land. It will take absolutely ages, though. Um, that's the reason why this. Uh, we only planted one rod there to take this death mana, but it grew to almost take this entire island. It just so happens that one of the enemy rod planters managed to um, destroy our rod. Which is why that stopped growing. I'm going to. Um, it's going, probably going to be a bit of a waste, actually. I was going to do Chant of Hasting just to get some bead back to the capital. But without the gold to resurrect his units, that's going to be a bit of a waste. Oh, shit. A uh, thief died. How did I forget such a thing? There we go. 117. It's like a level zero city in the way. It's. It's not even that, I think, Alex. It's um, it's only like one small tile at a time, whereas a, a a level one city will even get growth from all directions. I think that a rod will only get growth in one direction at a time. That's right. That's right, Vasky. Indeed. Um, even against a level one city, a rod will always lose. It, 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 the rod is literally only for staking claim. On resources. Desperately need a way to try and get more cash. I've got a gold ring, but it's not worth a great deal. Having said that, uh, I've not tested around with it too much, but th there might be a way to use rods to strategically block off narrow passages. Okay, that's not a surprise. That's why I was trying to get the wizard to get there as soon as possible. Because I think, let's see if there's a, uh, there are any examples on this particular map. You get a particularly narrow point in the terrain That, that might be a good example. Down here, it's only two, maybe two, three uh, tiles wide. If we planted a rod there, we could potentially stop the Legion's land from spreading past that particular choke point. So you, you can strategically place them in order to stop land from spilling over into other parts of a, of a particular landmass. More often than not, though, you're probably wasting your time because they'll just send a raw planter out to to nab your rod. I think this is probably worthwhile. Oh, you can't even get there. <laughs> it's a bit sad. Okay, I guess I could do the chant of hasting on him. Let's just do that. Let me try and. A little bit careful with, I can't remember what we call this guy. 
Slutty something or other. Oh, he's going to run off. That's fine for us. I'm not going to kill him. That's the only downside. Oh, definitely, yes. I certainly agree. That's what you'd expect a map to look like, look like when you're just about to win a mission. Most certainly. Right, can we resurrect anyone? 600 gold for that, 600 gold for the Archdruid S, 600 gold for him. Oh, this is going to take ages. Let's we start selling some stuff. There is a... Tell you what, there's a shop down here. And if they sell life portions, then that will be... That, that's a saving of 200 gold. We do. We do indeed have a shop. Smashy, smashy. Also thinking of a five finger discount. Good lord, that movement range. <laughs> oh well, it's not like we're in any rush to get those units resurrected. Let's face it. I'll give that a try. I'll see if we can um, see if we can pinch some life potions. Now there are no units around there which are going to threaten our mage. That's fine. Yeah, they're all running off. As expected. Ah, this is the spell weakness for 300 gold coins. Spell is worth 200. What does it do? Chanted units have 10% less chance to hit. No, you can go get fucked. Why refuse dealings with one so powerful? Is that what Trump says? <laughs> I'm not saying Trump is a necromancer, but all the signs are there. What's the difference between the blue flags and the red flags when you move, move, move something? Yeah, that white is out of the range, but not sure of the differences between the two. Red essentially means that you're going to get into a fight. So if we wanted to move Slutbeard here, as soon as the flags turn red, that means you've got to fight somewhere along this route, boy -o. So you've got to find out when the flags turn red. And it looks like we're going to get into a fight with these barbarians. So, if you hold down control and click somewhere else on the map, the the game will circumvent or circumnavigate should i say any potential battles uh so you don't get into a fight so if you just click normally on the map you will go you you will kind of go as the bird flies or whatever it, whatever it's called I can't, remember, I can't remember the phrase um if you hold down control you will avoid any battles like so that was something that i only actually learned when I started streaming Disciples, and someone, uh, I think it was Brian, one of my regulars, um, said, uh, as the crow flies, <laughs> I don't want to be discriminatory against other birds. Uh, yeah, Brian mentioned it in, in the comments. I thought, wow, I've been playing this game for so long, and I didn't even know that. It is crazy. Excellent. Okay, let's have that life potion. I'm going to have to sell some of these other things. Healing scroll, we have that spell, so we don't need that. Skeleton scroll is shite. Sinestra Ignis is nice, but for 160 gold coins, he can have it. Bronze ring, yes. I'm not really bothered about this potion of protection. It does buy us another life potion. Death ward. I'm going to sell the death ward as well. If only I could sell this talisman, but I really want to keep it. It's worth 600 gold coins. It's worth as much as a tempest giant. I didn't even know about holding control until I saw you do it in one of the past streams. You and me both, Alex, as I've just explained. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not entirely sure if it's ex actually explained anywhere. That's the strangest thing. What came as the biggest surprise to me? Okay, let's get you back there. 
definitely not bring uh, drinking those potions out in the open because we will just get zapped with the spell. Let's give it to these two chaps. Right, what's next? Tell you what, Blasky Beard. Why don't you go after that city? Is that potentially a thing? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. All right. That is... Uh, why are those possessed dead? Ooh. Has he been sneaky and swapped out some new units for old ones? Huh. Yeah, he's put the dead ones in the city and then recruited some new ones. That's my tactic. Ah, you say that. But there is... If you go into... Got my green screen. Look, shit. Sorry about this. It looks really bad. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to try and solve this out. Let's see if we can do some jiggery pokery on on scream. Uh, on scream, that's right. <laughs> Don't scream. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Oh, no, that's taking away my own head. That's not good. No, that's taking away my face. All right. We've got, I'm just going to have to deal with that. I'm sorry. Uh, but if you go into the... Not saga, but the quests, I think. You need to go into the individual quests. Don't poison. Oh, shit. And then I believe there is a tutorial quest in there. And you are guided through a tutorial by a kind of like, I think, neutral NPC or something like that. And it is a quest. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm going to have to satisfy my own curiosity now. Let's save this under Slut's S. Uh, do, 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 do. Single player, uh, new quest. There we go, tutorial. To quickly learn the basics of Disciples 2, try this tutorial. There we go. Um, how are you supposed to instinctively know that this tutorial exists? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't remember doing the tutorial. I don't think I actually have at any point, but it's there. It's them. <laughs> yes. This is um, back in the days where tutorials used to be essentially just looking through the manual that came with the game, a printed manual. In fact, I remember uh, with Heroes 3, which my very good friend, Dr. Blasky, purchased for my birthday the tutorial was um, basically in, in a nutshell look at this PDF printed off and then read through this P this printed off PDF while you play through this particular map <laughs> and then the instructions were on this PDF that you had to read through and then you was it was kind of like doing it in the map but with no prompts on the map the prompts were on this piece of paper in front of you which you'd printed off which I thought was just so ghetto, it was painful, but glorious at the same time. Very much enjoyed that. Had they found my, our spy, or did we find their spy? Provoked our leader into a duel? I don't think that's going to end well. Those were the days. I remember Disciples having a fantastic uh, printed manual as well. I used to be really sad and actually read all the manuals. It was just one of those things. I always thought a really good, high quality printed manual was just, just very nice. It's just a nice thing. We just don't get these days. Ah, uh, wasn't like that in my day. Even Starcraft had a nice manual, I think. Oh, for God's sake. Owned by a thief. Right, time to retreat, because you probably can't take on a gargoyle in your weakened state, sadly. You ended him. 
I think you managed to get both hits on him as well, did you not? Flasky beard. <laughs> See if we can steal a few life potions. Yes, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. That will do to uh, resurrect our Archduodes, actually. Save us a bit of money. You are dead. Also dead. And because we need the healing, time to run back. How's the land going? Oh, 14%. We've actually dropped 2%. <laughs> it's one of those scenarios where you've got to lose a bit of land in order to gain a lot of land, let's just say. I don't think there's any point in actually taking that city. The resistance haven't done anything to us, let's face it. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, it's 70%. Doom. Which makes looking at the land conversion percentages even more depressing because we've only got 13%. But as soon as you get a couple of um, cities under your belt, under your control, then that starts skyrocketing anyway. It's like 5% a turn when you get a couple of decent cities. <laughs> What are you trying to say? Certainly. Should we try and push our luck? We could probably do with more life potions. Uh. Uh. Well, he does drop the life potion that he did manage to steal. That's good. And considering a thief costs 200 gold, we are still yeah. looking at a saving of 400 gold. And I call that Slut says, my friends. <sighs> right, what's next? What be next? I'm not going to waste my time with thugs. No chance. We'll go after some barbarians. We'll probably end up with another death if we do that, though. I'm going to have to go, go after some wolves, I think. If we go after wolves, then I think we'll have a better time because they can't reach the Archduodes. Caught, died, dropped, shit, he stole quite, outside quite literally on the doorstep. That's true. That and the fact that they, the thief can then give the stolen items to someone else who then walks back back into the shop and then sells it to the, the shopkeeper. I can't imagine any shopkeeper would be too impressed with that kind of shenanigans. So I think the plan is we will probably use... Slutty Tim, or whatever it's called, the wizard, to take some more cities. While that's happening, we'll grind a bit more experience out for Slutbeard. And then I think this mission should take care of itself, take care of itself should I say. Um, Venerable War is going to take a lot of damage, I suspect. Let's boost you. Uh, I think we should probably just defend. You can one shot a wolf. That's good. <sighs> Why do you miss? Um, fine. Let's 
probably maxed his damage now. Let's have a quick look. Uh, no, it hasn't. That is 392 damage. Which is just delightful. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the uh, one of a kind artifact that uh, went missing from that from <laughs> went missing from my shop five minutes ago. How queer! Are the undead still our allies? Yes, they are. That's good. Uh, will probably work against us at some point. So we're going to have to break the alliance because we will eventually have to go after their lands, unless we can get enough land just from the demons. It's quite possible. Suppose we could take over this land just by taking this resistant resistance city and the demon one. Oh, we can probably do that. We probably we may not have to break the alliance. So with a couple of wolves. Let's let's get this place garrisoned up. See if we can't hang on to it. Cool. Right. I mean, for me, there's no no real point in garrisoning garrisoning a city. I still don't know if that's a word. I'm going to use it anyway. There's no point in garrisoning a city unless you have a fully upgraded one. Oh. Never heard a moan like that before. Oh shit, you would miss the cultist, wouldn't you? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh. Yes, give me my bullshit game, please. Oh, I forgot about the armour. I think we've lost Tim. No. Oh, it's a miss. Oh, it's another miss. <laughs> See, that's the bullshit I was talking about before. I feel as if I've, I've, I was I cheated the game there by getting two misses on the wizard, but at the same time, that that whole battle was just bullshit. Let's face it. How do Jamal? You all right? Misses were hard on both sides. Let's just put it in the past. Let's get you in that city. I'm really surprised this uh, the city hasn't been taken by an enemy lord yet. How much does it cost? Wow, can't even afford to upgrade to level 2 with the 50% discount. Never mind. Well, we get an extra 10% regeneration from leaving them there, so it's, it's better than nothing. All right. I'm very, very well, thank you very much. Friday, tomorrow, whoop. It's Friday, Friday, playing Disciples the day before Friday. That's how it goes, isn't it? Calculated. Are you from Busky's stream, Alex? Have I nabbed you from his stream? Is that a thing that's happened? Or is it the other way around? Your hand is a dolphin. I don't get the reference, I'm sorry. My hand is a dolphin. No, you've lost me, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> First time in years I'll have an actual weekend. Excellent. He's spending it with your significant other, of course. I should hope so. Is that going to be enough? 
I think it should be enough. We can pop out, kill these wolves, and then go back into the city. The Redouble Friday. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh, I had no idea. It sounds marvellous. I think that's the bad, uh, the bad choice, to be fair. I think we should have probably buffed the Venerable Roy, who can then one-shot a wolf. I think I've knackered that up. Never mind. Fight goes on. Find me through YouTube if you're watching some disciples videos. Cool. And you watch Blasco. Oh, there we go. That's where the calculator, calculator comes from. Good. I'm very much enjoying this playthrough of Heroes 3. It's good fun. I think I'm enjoying watching him play it more than I would enjoy playing the game myself, if that makes sense. Return with tea, tea, sorry. Where did you go to get the tea? China. Oh god, I sound like my dad. That's the, that's the thing my dad would always say if it took me too long to make him a cup of tea. Where'd you go for that tea, China? Yes, dad. Stupid old man. Right, you can chill out there. Grab him some heels. Until we can garrison that city. Proper. That's giving him the calculus. It wouldn't be calculus though, it would be some strangely strange variation of the word calculus like physic. Nice. You shall not fall to a mere thief. Could really do with another mini egg. But they're all the, all the way downstairs in the fridge. Because you've got to keep your mini eggs cold. There's nothing sadder than a room temperature chocolate egg. Ooh, you're quite close to that rod. And I could really do with keeping hold of that gold. So. Take this. Please don't give me the physics. You will accept the physics and you will enjoy it. T China had V China. <laughs> wow. If, you, if that's where you get your tea from, then. Don't offer me any. Thank you very much. This tea tastes a bit fishy. Oh, come on. What's with all the missing? This is stupid. I'm going to use Slutty Tim as soon as we've got enough money to upgrade the city where he's garrisoned. As soon as we can upgrade this and put a garrison in it, like this one, we can then move Tim out and probably take this one, garrison that one. Then we should take most of this landmass then. Then we're probably going to have to look north. To probably take some of that land and then some of this land and I think yeah. that should do it. 15% boys. <laughs> oh, God. It's a bit of a slow mo moving mission. I'll I'll say that much. High father's father of high father has forsaken you. Quite the opposite. He has chosen you. It's chosen you to be the holy representative. Representative. That's not that. It's not that again. The representative of physic. Nope, seventy percent on this one. Sixty percent is too easy, apparently. I'd like to think that when they make one of these missions, they make it so that you have to basically own a certain number of land masses, like. If we owned this big massive land mass and then this one at the top, it would leave us just short of 70%, so you've got to take some of another land mass. Oh, 
They are indeed mine. Bolt. Hoping that's not going to be the case any longer after we've taken taken down that Mordius. Let's get you two heals, and I think it's about time we took down one of these guys. I think that's doable, is it not? We have shit on rub planting. <laughs> I have often wondered if you could um, actually win one of these missions by not owning any cities but just planting all the rods absolutely everywhere oh for god's sake please stop missing uh, what? <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's because I mocked the one gold that I stole I'm sorry you can have the one gold back really didn't need it let's haste it up Empty capital for Easter. Oh, I'm handing out the Easter eggs of pain. Oh, for God's sake. Right, kill the leader, please. Thank you. A bit slow, just, just, just recently. That'll be the drink, Jamal. Don't worry. Right, back to the capital with you. He does still have the gold ring. Let's put it in the capital for safekeeping, shall we? Right. Where next for you, my little... Slaptastic... Morsel. Uh, more wolves. Uh, fairly sick of... Fighting wolves. I could do with the XP. Good lord. I'm going to visit the resistance. Let's do that. That'll be good for a laugh, won't it? Don't want to fight thugs, no. Thank you very much. Try at some point a random mission, see if you can do it. It would quite possibly be the most boring stream in history, but uh, I'm, I'm up for the challenge, yeah. I think the only downside is that you can't plant a rod too close to another rod. That might be enough to scupper the plans. Well, there's a certain radius within which you can't plant another rod, I believe. Give back the demons the gold. <laughs> I'm tempted. I mean, they're not very strong. There's just a lot of them, and it's annoying. They're just multiplying right like rabbits. Tell me gold ring to one of the enemy leaders in the early game because they gain 10,000 gold to a very hard mode. What, and they, they will just buy the gold ring? How much will they buy it for? Demonic rabbits. Mm. Humping in the flames of hell. Um, I think you can probably say rats as well. Mine, I think they're probably just as bad as rabbits. Word. Random Phantom Warrior. I do remember seeing that um, army before, but it it's, must have just sat around not doing anything. Which is a bit odd. I think we can do something with these guys. I'm wondering if we enchant Slutbeard, he can one shot a troll. That would be nice.
one more turn and I think we can upgrade that city. That slutty Tim's in. I thought they got Ashkins. Again, same thing. They're all vermin. Spam this up until they bought it. Huh. Nice. Lizards can be undead. Can they not? I'm sure the undead don't discriminate. Troll HP is indeed 350. Okay. Put the Venerable Warrior on the top because he can defend before the Ogre gets to attack because he's only got 20 initiative. Max at 300. Do we now do? Let's see. Let's enchant the beard of spats. Okay, he goes for the giant, that's fine. Uh, he now has 392 damage. So, that ain't capped at 300. Nice, isn't it? Trolls regenerate. That sounds familiar, yeah, mine. Right, you have to defend. Ah, he went for the giant. One shot at a troll. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. Alright, I guess we could one shot the ogre as well. So if we enchant you, you can then one shot the orc. Then we take down the ogre in one hit. Bosh! Now that is kaka -ca calculated. Uh, do we need a fair bit of healing? Hmm. But perhaps we can get that from the Legion city that's up there, which we can take. That was, yeah, that was smooth. I enjoyed that. That was a good battle. That was well planned. I do say so myself. As the elves' range was raised to 400. Not too sure. I've not played around too much with it. I think we managed. We've managed to reach the cap in some of the other campaigns that we've played. But at the same time, I think in the other campaigns I was playing on Dark Prophecy, so that was probably when it was capped at 300, maybe. Personally, I don't think it should be capped at all. You should be able to increase your damage to as much as you like. All right, yeah, let's upgrade the city now. Um, grab a giant. And then we'll fully garrison it, garrison it in the next turn and move little slip balls out. All right, so go well. Who are the Kardashians? Um, they are. What, what's what's the, the the technical term? Oh god, I've forgotten it. I don't know. Waste of space. Off the top of my head. No, they're not good enough to be sluts, Jamal. Slut is a term that that is used for um, something much better than the Kardashians. What in tarnation? We are making progress. The fiends are beginning to feel that dwarven strength is... I think I said that wrong. Anyway. Invade further, so finally we may pay homage to Wotan. Once the mortal danger has passed. Alas! A spiritual one arises. Arises, yes. <laughs> it's a wabbit. It's a wolf. And... An orc champion. And... A barbarian chieftain. So a random assortment of units. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to represent, I'll be honest. Are, th are those those particular units quintessentially associated with the mountain clans?
<laughs> celebrities, unfortunately. Google, uh, Google, what's it called? Keeping up with the Kardashians or something like that? Kardashians. <laughs> nice. Kardashians are much more attractive than the Kardashians. You mentioned no cap on damage, dwarves would just stomp around with buff spells and arch druidess just want to take everything. Yep! That would make it a bit more a bit more worthwhile playing as the dwarves. They are berserk. Are we talking about the Kardashians still? Wow. Nerd! Morgan's gone full nerd. Raise the alarms. Whoops. I didn't mean to attack you, thief. That's just a happy coincidence. I think we can take that city. I think it's just tier one units in there, isn't it? I know you meant the units that spawned, my darling. Don't you worry. Just being facetious. Uh, just a cultist and a gargoyle. Still got 25 armor, so if I buff the the giant, that should be enough to cut through the armor. Unsurprisingly, gone for the venerable warrior. Bosh. <laughs> for God's sake. I'm no longer surprised now. I think we just have to assume that all attacks are going to miss and then work on that basis. I think it's ever since it was you, wasn't it, Alex, who suggested I went for accuracy for the level up perk for Slutbeard. That's where this has all come from. It's because I passed up that opportunity to increase his chance to hit 200%. And I'm being punished. Because this game just loves to punish people. Axe thrower. Um, I do quite like a couple of axe throws on the back. To build the buildings for the other units. Uh, no, because we can't afford it. I was going to go with the Rune Hall simply because it was cheaper than the King's Hall. It's a whole 1500 gold cheaper. These are all done, they're done, and we still need the Bifrost by Bridge, should I say. Which is going to cost 2250. I say let's cross that bridge, <laughs> get it, when we come to it. If accuracy isn't 100% then you never show it. Even when it is 100% you still can't be too sure. I'm pretty sure I've I've maxed it out in terms of accuracy and I've still had loss, uh, misses. It's useless with the mountain clans as there is a spell for it. Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> Elder Wonder Dank. Let's, let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, I can see that. They are the Danker cousins of the Tempest Giants. Also that beard. I'm not going to show you these ones because that's a secret. In fact, I think we're probably going to be using those ones on the final mission. Kill the Rock Planter. Lovely. Yes. More than yes. <laughs> if we ended up with 2,300 death mana. Maybe I should have bought some of those spells from the undead. Uh, it's not been a dank day in the northeast, but it has meme-wise, but not weather-wise. Thankfully, we've actually had a fairly decent day today. Bloody awful yesterday. It's very cold. Oh yeah, they've gone berserk. No, <laughs> an entire village was taken over by one wolf, who has now proclaimed himself king. Oh well, never mind. Next time on Game of Thrones. 
survive. Meanwhile, here. Excellent. In that case, every day is a dunk day, isn't it? Right. Time for another uh, another spy. I instinctively went to a German accent there because I was about to say the word spy. Fine. That's also fine. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Venerable warriors damaged. But then there's anything to worry about. I'm impressed that they're sticking around to fight. That's commendable. It's annoying because I wanted to prevent any more damage to the Venerable Warrior. I'm just going to get you to wait, see what this guy can do. Excellent. Rather suspiciously managed to hit all of his targets. I could. I can't be frittering away my money just like that, Alex, though. Oh, we've got level up for the Archdruidess. Isn't that nice? She, all she gets is um, HP though, which, to be fair, does prolong her life. But it's just a couple of orcs in that ruin, mine. So we could very much do a little bit of tomb raiding, and get some money from that. Right, his initiative is 35, so we should be able to get this venerable warrior to defend first. It just to buff the giant again, I think. Oh, he's lagging it, which means take that. And you wait. Excellent. Am I right in thinking that the the higher the level of the unit? Or should I say, the higher the promotion of the unit, the more it actually costs per HP in order to heal the unit with gold in a city. Which is why it's always much cheaper to either resurrect or heal a leader than it is to heal or resurrect a tier 5 or 4 unit. Which has always been annoying. I mean, yeah, I can understand that it would take it would take more to bribe a priest to resurrect a defender of faith or whatever, but six hundred gold coins. Come on, I'm gonna have to prostitute my uh, arch angel just to pay for that. Plague. Hmm. Thirty points of death damage to the target units. Still can't afford it. Why do you always? Want to sell me spells when I've got no money? <sighs> Does anyone know what the actual formula used is? Is it like tier 1 unit costs 1 gold per HP? Tier 2 unit costs 2 gold per HP? I don't think she'll be an archangel after that. No, she'll be a slutty angel. Or an arch slutress. Which is even better, let's face it. Right, you still need hills. Needs the heals. I think it doubles. Ah. Uh, it doubles each time. I know. It, I just know it gets super expensive by the time you get to tier five units, like prohibitively expensive. <laughs> Jamal making the quality contributions to the stream chat there as usual. He never let me down. Yeah, I'll kill an arc champion. Nice bit of experience there. All right. 
It'd be nice to get a couple of rock giants in this party. Ugh. Aim to please. Well, you succeed. Keep going at this rate, and I'll be pimping you out as well. Speeman in the world. Okay. Annual Speeman conference going on there, obviously. What are we at? 27%? Oh, baby. Okay. I think we just uh, push for it. I think there's something to the left of the Legion capital. I uh, can summon a rock if you want to have a look. If you think we should have a look. It's a ridiculous amount of spears, yes. I mean, you know you've got too many spearmen if you've got spearmen on the back line. That's, that's the telltale sign to know how many... Uh, to know how many spearmen you need to have. If you've, got one, if you've got them on the back line, then you've done something wrong. We have struck another victory. Keep pushing the evil armies back and the clans will be unstoppable. For Wotan! Oh, more random units. That was an undead spider. More barbarians. Giant spider for some reason. Which is not going to attack us because we're allied with the undead. If you bring the wizard to that neutral town close to the undead. Neutral town. This one. Did the wizard say he was part of the resistance? I'm I'm intrigued now. No, I don't think so. Unpin me here. God, what, what was happening to him? I don't know. Don't know. There's, there's nothing to suggest that he is a member of the resistance. So I don't know. I don't know what don't know what would happen there. I'm willing to give it a try. Make him kill the resistance. <laughs> well, that's the dankest suggestion I've heard all night. What would the council do? Oh. Heal him. Let's go for it. Although I appreciate the the amount of money we just spent healing that guy. Probably far outweighs the money we're gonna get from this ruin. But you never you never know. Oh we went for slut beard. They're all going for slut beard. Oh shit. <laughs> he got buffed, so he should be able to one shot an orc champion though. Bosh. Need to kill the spider, otherwise it'll be a pain later. When we inevitably break the um, 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 treaty with the undead. Oh, he has five leadership. Interesting. Wow, I've never seen Slut be this threatened before. He tanked it like a champ, though. Two hundred seventy-eight gold. I think that's probably about as much as we spent healing that venerable warrior, and an orb of regeneration, Mister Restoration. Sorry. I see this shrine is dedicated to the worship of a forgotten god. Will this some say someday be the fate of our dwarven civilization? Yes, is the short answer to that. Need yet another spy. I miss you. I can do that stuff. Alright, it's fine. Hmm. Hill giant is fairly damaged. I think it's worth a chance though. Uh he goes first, then there's a chance that we can get through with this without losing the giant. 
He's gonna have to go before the enemy leader now, though. Is it gonna happen? No. Never mind. Hashtag not salty. that we can explore. No. That's a new. I was going to see what was down here, wasn't I? Someone in a rock. At least he missed the other giant. If only those giants weren't swapped around in their positionings. We'd have been in there, son. Rigel is unexplored. Mine, you've hit the jackpot. It's fat imps night. There we go. That's the tits we came or we came here for with that uh, orgasm face. Let's let's just take a moment just to let that sink in. I will have a look as soon as we've uh, enjoyed feasting our eyes on this. Imp servants of the higher infernal planes. These creatures are used by demons to disrupt order in the realm. There's a disturbing amount of detail on these uh, saliva coming from the mouth as well. Hairy titties. The fat imps themselves are the treasures. Let's face it. Is it hairy titties? I suppose so. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they look like. Oh, the, the ones in Disciples 3 are just disturbing, though. They've got this strange kind of bondage harness going go going on. It's just a little bit... It makes me feel uncomfortable looking at it, put it that way. Alright, let's get you back for some heals. I don't really know what to do with you. Alright, this party is being led by an orc, so we should have a fairly good chance of uh, poisoning them. Might as well give it a try. Maybe. Um, do the thing with the orders. Oh, what's the name? Something orders. Can't remember. Pa. There are a lot of imps in the dwarf saga. Are there? Fat imps and the imps like to stick their tongues out. Not the only things I like to stick out. I've not seen that many imps in the dwarf saga at the moment. Mine? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> there you go. He has the dwarven braces. Should have got to increase his damage by 10%. And the skull braces. He's got all the braces. Uh, we'll receive 20% less damage from attacks. So... Nothing brilliant. Skull braces are, of course, very handy to have. Counterfeit orders. Thank you very much, Doom. Keeping me right. I was trying to think of forge orders. No, that didn't sound right. Oh, I don't have the movement points. I was going to give it a try as well. Let's see if we can steal another gold. We still need to heal up. I'm going to garrison this city, actually. Oh, don't have enough gold. <laughs> That's an actual screenshot of the, the fat imps getting ready for the arse angel coming round. That's what uh, that's what Santa Claus is called in the Disciples universe. The Arse Angel. <laughs> Do I think for an artifact that allows it be to leech health while attacking? Um. It's good. 
there's just not that many opportunities whereby Slutbeard would benefit from it because nine times out of ten the the melee enemy units will go for the units beside him or either side of him. That's the only problem. What's the name? It's um I was gonna say Thanatos' blade, but that's the one that poisons, is it not? Soul crystal paralyzes. Can't remember now actually. Actually a paralysis one would be really good. Thinking of it. That would kind of make it make him into a more powerful Luther. We're gonna go for a poison. No, let's count it for orders, because that's fun. I'm not entirely sure what that did. Oh, I think it swapped the Orc Champion with the, with the Goblin Archer. Yeah. It's not bad, I suppose. In which case, we could do that. And I think that would go well. Hag rings, imps them out. That's true, yeah. Runic Sword. Is it Runic Sword? Interesting. He's the main tank, yeah, oh, that's definitely true, but it's whether he can actually be the um, target of the the enemy's attacks. That's the thing. Because unless you can get the enemy to attack him, the ability to drain life would be a little bit wasted. Now, if you had drain life overflow, then that's it, that's an instant win. Runic sword. It just. I'm, sh I'm sure it exists. I just couldn't remember which one uh, actually drained a life. Uh, we don't have any spells to buff, so I think we're just going to go in naked. We should be fine. We should be able to kill that ogre before he even attacks if we buff Slutbeard. Then he can one shot him. Provided he's level 1. Let's just double check. He's level 2. No, he's only got 330 HP. That's fine. I'm get you to wait. You should be able to one-shot him. Nice. You zap his apps. And then you, because you waited, can now take your attack. Let's put it on you. Let's get him to wait actually. I kind of formulating a plan. Yeah, let's get him to defend now. So if we can buff him. Nice. So if I get you to wait, these two defend, you also wait, you should then be able to kill the Orc Champion. Now what? You can do 200 damage. It's not enough to kill him. Is 390 odd damage enough to kill this guy? I think so. Yes. Alright, that's fine. 258 XP. Lovely. Runic Blade, 25% more damage. Unholy Dagger. There we go, that's the one. I was beginning to think if Runic Blade was just a damage buff. Yeah, that's the one. That would be lovely. Is there any chance of us coming across that during this campaign? Got, he's got a fair amount of HP, uh, XP, sorry, but I'm just going to swap him out for now. Until we've got a little bit of extra money. Oh, the area of effect damage. Burns.
<laughs> I was just about to read what you'd said, Alex, but I can't pronounce that word. Mjolnir's? Mjolnir's crown? It's got very big horns on it, so it makes you especially horny. And therefore more damaging. White blade is, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to go for it. I would steal a spell, but I kind of want to do the gold. Can we succeed? Oh, no. Oh, well. It's all or nothing. We're going for the one gold. Any of the artifacts that adds status effects are good for casters. Paralysis 1 can paralyze an entire army. Poison 1 can poison everyone. It's just, it's just crazy. Bethrazen's claiming it. 40% more damage, but instead of 25 initiative, increases it by 50%. That's just crazy. That's just silly. The Ring of Ages is super good as well. You can uh, have a walk around the green skin neighborhood. Uh, it's only Slope Bead that's actually damaged. Three Orc Champions on the back line. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let me send it back for healing. What, we're at 37%? Nice. We're on pace. Seriously, where are the demons getting all the money for these leaders from? It's getting a bit silly. Nice, that went well. I have seen Bethrazen's Claw. And I, I don't recall playing any of the, um, you know, the random quests or making a custom saga. Can only be obtained in custom maps. <laughs> I can't steal their monies. I'll spend all my money on thieves. Can't afford it. I've got to get, I've got to get my hands on <laughs> how much a combination of uh, 2,250 to level up this guy, and then 3,000 to level up this guy. And I kind of want to do it in this mission because I'm not going to get a, an opportunity to show you the uh, rune what's-his-faces and the elder ones. The elder dunks. So I kind of want to do it now. So then I don't have to do it again. So then I can say I've showcased most of the units. Yeah, I'm going to have to spend it on upgrades. I might even invest in a rod planter and send them off to get... Oh, we've got that rod, uh, that gold mine in the left there. That's good. Well. That was two orcs as well, wasn't it? Well done, Mr. Spider. Oh, he's hardly damaged. There's a gold mine there. Two gold mines on this island, actually. That's very much worth going after. Right, that's the next target then. Because let's just go straight for the city, I think. City of Gat. Okay. I think I might just keep the wizard here. Sorry, Tim. I think it's worthwhile leaving him here and then he can take care of any demons which exit the capital as and when they pop out. I I can do that. Uh, maybe 
you come to the daughters? Oh, for God's sake. 120. As long as it's a slutty demon turner, yes, this is true. 39%. So it's turning into a bit of a race to see if I can if I can actually get these units promoted. Oh, that's annoying. Before we win the mission, that's even more annoying. Yeah. I'm quite surprised the undead haven't broken their alliance with us. Oh, oh, that's sad. Bit off a little bit more than you could do there. Oh, there's another one. Anyway, <laughs> spider reinforcements incoming. Keep on dwarfs. Make inroads into the deepest territories of these fiends. Oh, three wolves this time. And... Oh, just one spider still. I spent 24,000 gold on thieves. Not nearly enough for me. Him again. Excellent. Oh, not far off a level up for the giant, that's good. Should really get you back into a city though. <sighs> God, these levels are a slog. You should do with some healing. Probably there's there are so many demon rods in this land. It's almost impossible to end your turn not near one. Might even have to put the. Actually, no. Because this part, this battle is going to be especially difficult. I might go for a tree bark potion on your. Then go for it. Let's try. I really want the city. Where to start? We should probably get rid of these goblin archers. Although the armor is only 10%, so the Tempest Giant can still actually kill them. That's fine then. Oh wow, he's got 385 XP, uh, HP. Send out the wizard to attack the improvement. Do you think he can do it? I'll give it a try. Alright. All that damage. <laughs> oh, why game? Why do you do this to me? Don't go fast, don't go fast. No! Probably the wrong thing to do. You should have finished off the troll. You got all excited. Attack and take out the demon rod. I will try. Fine. The worst part now is that we've still got an orc king to kill. 
And there's another 600 gold wasted on the temp uh, resurrecting the Tempest Giant. Unless there's a shop up there. No such luck. Desperate times, I'm going to sell the family heirloom. Oh, he didn't make it to the capital. It's located close to the neutral human town, north of the Legion capital. Well, it's actually on this map. It's near here, is it? Oh, is it being guarded by this ogre, is it? Oh. oh my. Guarded my by Merfolk. It's on on this map. Are you talking about me? Watching me suffer. <laughs> if you're enjoying it, then I'm enjoying it. Unless you want me to say that I'm not enjoying it and I'm suffering. Doesn't that make it more enjoyable for you? 44%. We're getting there. <sighs> Everyone's very damaged. Or King does at least 115 damage. I think. That's based on him being a level 1. It's got a lot of armor as well. <clears throat> what do we think? <sighs> it's going to be very close. It's leveled up. Run for the hills. That just makes me want to do it all the more. Potion of might. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try it. Let's take out the rod. Chant of hasting. And then... Let us. Are you alright, mine? We got a bit of a moment there. Let's do that. So his attack has gone up to 294. Which rod were you talking about? Did I do the wrong rod? Oh, you are right. That was the right thing to do. Thank you. <laughs> So we've got rid of the rod, we've given ourselves another turn, and his damage is boost. Let's see how much we can boost Slutbeard's attack. Oof. Yeah, he's level 3, with 42 armor, 139 damage, with a lot of HP. Oh yeah, it's boosted it to 400. There's there's the damage uh, cap, which is not going to be enough, sadly. It were good try though, weren't it? It were right good try. Never mind. A delicious 292 experience for both of those two though. The ownership of the city puts the enemy in easy reach. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Let's level that up. And um, we're going to have to blow all of our gold, as usual, on resurrecting those two. I will get enough money to build these upgrade structures, I guarantee. Let's first start by selling that gold ring. Should have thrown himself in front of the warrior. That was plan B, yes. But being a slot, he thought of himself and just 
quite happily watch one of his fellow clansmen get slaughtered. Ah, I'm not still on the talisman. Sorry. I've got to draw the line somewhere. We should be getting a fair amount of gold now every turn. We've got quite a few mines, I think. So it's just a matter of time. What a noob. Of all the, the enemy units on the map, and it goes for... for that one. What a tit. 200 gold coins, that's more than I thought I expected, actually. Right, what's next? Right, so you say that the... This um, artifact should be somewhere here, near this city. Guarded by a couple of Krakens. No, we can't get to it, sadly, without attacking the Krakens. There we go, though. So that, that is the... The Hujimajani. What's it called? Yeah. Unholy Dagger, was it? Something like that. Ugh. I have a plan. Let's bring you out of here. I'm just gonna nab that. No! Bad dwarf. And then chant of hasting and get him back in the city. I don't think we need that city actually, mine. That one down here. And it is guarded by... Oh, it's just a wolf. <laughs> oh well. We've got more than enough growth power to overcome the, the undead lands. I think it should be fine. I kind of don't want to speed it up because I want to get, get those other units promoted, preferably. Then we'll wrap it up. So it's just a mad dash to try and get as much gold as possible, essentially. I really would quite like to get this wrapped up in this stream, though. Then we're on to the penultimate mission, I believe. How much did we get per turn there? 350. Nice. Ah, it uh, shouldn't take long at all, then. Especially when we take this one. That's another 50 gold, so that's 400 gold a turn. It's beautiful. How much land do we have? How much how land do we have left? We've got fifty-two percent, so eighteen percent left. Good evening, let's play. It is, as mine said, it's the fourth. If you want to have a look at the previous challenges, they are on my YouTube channel. The link is in the channel description below. The Actually, I tell a lie. That's a complete lie. The elf, the elf challenge, is there. No, it's the fourth one, mine. The fifth one is um, is going to be the legions. The whole of the el elven campaign is on the YouTube channel, and I think the final battles from the Empire and the Undead are on the in the highlights on the on this channel. In case you want to have a look to see what we got up to in terms of those two campaigns. Been bloody exhausting, but I've had a lot of fun doing this. That's probably too much. Uh, another Arc King, interesting. A lot of heavy hitters around here. Ton of XP. I'm gonna be a bit cheeky. It's only 125 gold coins to get this one upgraded. Gives us an extra 5% regeneration rate, which is nice. don't think this guy's going to be much of a threat, so let's go in blind. I thought you saw missions. Oh, that's alright, mind. 
In which case you would be right. <laughs> I think the Elven one might have been the hardest campaign so far, personally. I don't think it's necessarily because of the Road Planter. I think it's mainly because the difficulty of the campaign is just generally harder in the Elven campaign than it is on the others. I mean, it. I think it was on the very first mission when we were coming across... There we go, yeah. Uh, the Cyclops, which could just one-shot any unit, any of our units. Especially with it being ranged as well. It was just ridiculous. You know, very hardcore mod for Disciples 2. Complete any campaign on them without save games. Only pro uh, Disciples 2 gamer. Wow. Uh, without save games. Without. Oh, yeah. Perhaps without auto save. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, presume, I'm assuming you can save so you can actually go to bed. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a thing. Um, I'm also looking forward to the non-promotion challenge, whereby none of our units can actually be promoted, but they can level up. So we lock lock the unit type as soon as we get them. I think that, that would be fun. I'm up for giving that a go. Iron Man is the way to go. Yeah. Is that how you play, Jamal? <laughs> Do you have proof? Oh, shut up. I need to start attacking someone. So bizarre having three Orc champions on the back line. It's just stupid. I think that might be doable. Hopefully, won't lose someone. Alright, you probably need to be buffed. Hopefully, we can get this guy to go first. We really need him to defend. That's fine, they can. They can damage her a little bit, it's fine. Okay, it's kind of what I wanted to happen, that's good. Nice first map from Goblins. Hey, you just recruit another, ally, uh, another um, army. If you die in the first map, that's not necessarily a problem, Alex. Because <laughs> you just, yeah, you just create another army from level one. Be a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong. Wouldn't be that much of a setback. The worst thing would be dying on mission five or six to goblins. That is true. I'm sure we could build in a no mercenary camp clause into the challenge. I'm happy to do that. In terms of the special units, I don't think that would be a bad thing to include the special units because they're never used anyway. <laughs> I think that might be quite nice. Grinding on them fat tits. You love it. I'm hoping that that's a lovely undead rod, pl rod planter come to remove these rods because the, <laughs> the funniest thing happens when you're in an alliance with a, another enemy lord and you've got a city like this and it has an enemy lord's rods which you're both at war with so they'll send a rod planter along because they just in instinctively do so, remove the rods but then your land grows underneath it so they can't plant a rod on any land which is owned by a faction that they're um, allied with. 
So <laughs> that happens a lot in disciples because they're a bit thick. Bless them. I do enjoy it when that happens. It's one of those guilty pleasures. That's fine, yeah, you work for me now. Almost got that gold. You just need to... I just need to wait it out a bit. Just need to get some more gold. That's it, really. You do that, then you have two rod planters. One takes the rod, the other one plants it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is that is also true. Let's play. The, the, the lot of your a lot of your power will be consolidated into the the main leader. That's the only downside to the challenge. I can imagine it'd be quite annoying when you get to the higher levels, when the enemy units just completely ignore your leader and just go for your flimsy uh, unpromoted units of course it is the russians russians are so pro at this game i'm a complete noob in comparison that's fine i enjoy myself that's the main thing i do find it a little bit Not so much disappointing, but perplexing as to why why I don't see basically anyone streaming uh, Disciples in English. <laughs> I've always found it a bit strange. There's our rock giant. Nice. It would be nice to see that. Just so I could have someone to host who actually plays Disciples. That would, that would be delightful. Ah, uh, who's next? You Sings the national Russian anthem. Do you know it? That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if anyone does know anyone else who uh, streams Disciples in English, then let me know. I'd be glad to do so. I'm toying with the idea of attacking this army. I think we'd have to be at full health though. Might be able to do something with this party. Give it a try. Now I'll let the Tempest Giant heal up a little bit more. Sorry. I don't know anyone else who's played Disciples. <laughs> Other than people on YouTube, of course. But then again, I don't know those people. I just I don't know of people who have played Disciples. <laughs> That's good enough. Listen to it as it's inspiring. Good for you. What are we thinking? I think we should be able to take that city, uh, that ruin, sorry. As soon as this wizard's healed up, we'll send him over. And we'll see if we can uh, pillage that ruin. Uh, I, I do see people stream Disciples every day. It's always in Russian. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's always nice to see people streaming Disciples. It's, that's that's not the thing I have a problem with. I guess I'm just perplexed as to why no one else streams it in, uh, in English. Let's go for it. We might be able to be a little bit sneaky and try and get these guys down to fairly low health before we kill the front row. So if you kill him. And we 
debuff you. Just keep this guy defending. It's fine. Uh, you can wait just for now. Okay. Alright, you defend. Might as well buff you. Good, <laughs> sing it. Wait until mine starts streaming, then we'll make him sing the the national anthem on his on his channel. So if we can get these guys to wait instead now, you can wait. Then you do that. Then we might be able to kill one of these orcs on the back. Right, not quite. Can you kill the middle one? All right, that's good enough for me. Oh, yeah, it's even better. That's a bonus. That's a bonus kill. Cool. That went almost optimal, I think. Cool. Ah, thank you, Alex. I assume you meant me and not the prospect of mine singing the national anthem on stream. <laughs> Maybe you were. I'm taking the glory though. <sighs> I play Heroes of Might and Magic 5 at the moment. I'm doing a random skill allocation challenge where all the skills and abilities are randomly allocated. Um, my very good friend and um, sponsor Blaskatronic TV uh, is currently streaming Might and Magic 3 and also Might and Magic 7. Um, I I will I normally host him so you'll see him pop up if you if you're following the channel of course. Uh, how did all of our units get a full heal? That seems unusual. I thought we were all very much damaged. Now, question is, what do we build first? Bifrost, Bifrost Bridge for the Elder One, or the one for the whatever this guy promotes into? I'm going to go for the, with the bridge, because the Elder Ones are just ridiculously powerful. If you do some nice area of effect damage, I think. So I'm going to build the S. Let's build this one. 2254. We've got enough gold. Uh, damage jumps from 50 all damage to all units to 80 which is fantastic 400 HP as well I think that's worth it natural healing what do you mean He he lives in America at the moment, so I don't know where I don't know where you're located. But if it's in Europe, then chances are you'll probably miss some of his streams. I miss quite a lot of his streams. I watch his vods a lot. We will do sometimes do a Euro-friendly stream at the weekend, which is always nice. I'm thinking the Orc King is probably going to be our best bet. Because basically you can you can ignore all these units because they're they're shit. The Orc King will go for the Tempest Giant, maybe. And then the Tempest Giant will get a full heal when he promotes. They healed naturally in the city. I'm assuming so. They they just got a lot of a lot of healing. I thought maybe we didn't take that much damage. Oh. Oh, there you go. Now you can make it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Quietly confident, let's just say. 325 HP. Might be able to one-shot him when Slutbeard is buffed. Oh, they're attacking him. That's very unusual. That's fine, though. 
I'm going to attack with the Venerable Warrior on the basis that the troll is going to attack. Yeah, it's a little bigot. Oh, so close. He's not going to enough, do, do enough damage, is he? Oh, shit. Uh, this is potentially bad. Very bad. They're both going to attack first, so I think Slut Beard is dead. Let's buff you up in preparation for taking down the troll. Alright. That's not terrible. Main thing is we get this guy leveled up. <laughs> Just wait until he's died and then you can bugger off. That's fine. There we go. There's our elder one. All the damage. And a fantastic beard. We've got another level up for our Archdruidess as well. Which is nice. Hmm. Worst thing is, even if we do the chant of hasting, he's not going to have enough movement points to get back. So we might as well take this while we're here. A life potion! <laughs> as if by magic. Thank you, game. Oh, still not enough movement points. Get some most of the way there. Finally got some pants. Yeah. Sick of looking at a giant in a dress. <laughs> I did, of course, know that was a life potion. Catch you later, mine. Thank you for dropping by, as always. I'll be wrapping it, wrapping it up soon. Um, I don't know whether we can finish this mission, this uh, stream. Why are those guys suddenly moving out? One guy used three he a hero and three alchemists. I've uh, been toying with that idea, yes. Have you seen the video on YouTube where you've got um, the Nosferat surrounded by five elder vampires as well? That's insane. What are you up to? Oh, 67%. I might as well just keep going. Uh, I don't think we're going to see the Rune Master, sadly. But I'm not. I'm not waiting to save up three thousand gold coins. Sorry, I'm drawing the line there. For for an extra three percent of the land, let's just last it out a bit. Healing a leader and resurrecting your he healer as well at a city. It's always cheap. Yeah, Alex. It's only. It's always about two hundred gold. I think is it not? And I think it's one one gold coin per HP. See, they try to see steal some gold from the capital. You never want to go down that that route. Always ends badly. You either lose a thief or you only get one gold coin. Is that enough? Oh, sixty-seven <laughs> percent. That was a bit of an anticlimax. <clears throat> Let's go for it. I'm willing to extend the stream slightly just so we can get this wrapped up. There's no other land to take other than this stuff around the undead capital and probably this city. So basically this mission wants you to take every single city. Let's just send you around there. Should probably garrison the city just in case someone wants to scupper my plans for world domination. And then I think we can wrap this up. I'm pretty sure it's one one gold per HP. And then I think it was right, yeah. I can't remember who said it, but I think it does double. Oh shit, yeah, I've got to get the un unholy dagger, haven't I? I take a slight detour to get that. Oh, we're at 68%. Can we get the Unholy Dagger before the mission ends? It's going to take five turns. 
Uh, that is the question. We might just we we might actually win this without taking that city. So I'm going to try and get the unholy dagger. Summon a rock. I can't get to the the treasure. You've got to fight these kraken to get to it, because you've got to get to this space. I can't actually summon it on that space, can I? Prepare for some cheese. Can we get it? Oh no, he's been stuck in the tree. <laughs> now we don't want to see how that pl plays out. I think it's gonna. Um, it's fairly obvious how that's gonna go. I tried. I'm just trying to pasting. I'll definitely try to get it. Also, I need to investigate that rune as well with. Slutty Tim. Yeah, why not? I'll buy you his shitty spell for you. <coughs> Just to keep you sweet. I don't want you breaking the treaty at the last moment. Ooh. Gone after the undead. <sighs> right. Almost there. Come on. I was taking you to see what was in there. Might have to, might have to haste this guy because he's going to end his turn close to the Legion capital. Otherwise, and the like to cast spells on anyone you leave close to their capital. That looks all right, actually. Let's just go with it. Fatim's, so despite taking up two spaces, uh, fairly shit. Thirty damage. Reasonably high initiative, though. And very low HP. I don't hold a lot of hope for this ruin. Two fat imps and an orc champion. Might get something decent on the basis of the there being an orc champion there. I'm not going to hold my breath though. You are victorious. Ancient relic. Could have done that with a while ago, <laughs> I'll admit. That was more than I was expecting. I don't know why it just didn't give us 400 gold, though. That would have been nicer. Oh, the Greenskills live in these most brutal conditions. I found this in the entranceway. It's old, but we could sell it for a tidy sum. Well done, young man. Fair enough. Question is, can we get this unholy dagger? We are we, we are eventually just gonna take over the whole of the undead capital landmass. Oh, they're breaking out the big spells. So you just have to sell it before getting it. Yeah. Essentially. Is there even a shop nearby? No, not really. It's gotta go all the way down there. Oh well, never mind. I'm I'm not going to all that trouble just so I can promote that guy into a rune master. Can't be bothered. Too much effort. What are we at? Still at sixty eight percent. Cool. More than enough time to grab this unholy dagger. Let's buff this guy. Just because I want to. So it'll be something crazy like, yeah. 160 damage to all units. You're gonna die if you don't defend. Ooh. Level 4 Krakens, there we go. That's what's doing it. That's where all the damage is coming from. Tentacle double slap, yeah. Getting it from both ends with the tentacles. That's how we do it. What's better, a tentacle slap or a zombie bitch slap? That's the question. Quite a lot of experience there, actually. Most pleased. Whoops. Zombie. <laughs> Guest appearance from Japan. 
They're sending that guy off to get the holy dagger, aren't they? Well, you will fail. I really want to end this stream on a high by finishing the mission. 69%. The best percent. Ah, that's where you're going. You're trying to take the city. That is not going to happen. Denied. There it is. Unholy dagger. Leader equipped with this item will drain the life of enemies in battle. <laughs> uh, we're 69ing the land. Uh, I, I really like the skull braces. Receiving 20% damage from attack. So I say let's swap it out with the dwarven braces because that's only an extra 10% more damage in battle. Then we could now we can drain the life and he will heal himself with any damage that he inflicts. Which is just Riddick. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh, he's running off. What are you running away for? <laughs> Give me your life. Did that actually work? <laughs> I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I didn't check. Let's check it now. Wait, so two, three, five HP. Oh yeah, it went up to two, four, four. Cool. Works as advertised. Yes. I think it's just a case of waiting until we overtake a little bit more land in the undead area. Then we're done. Oh, my background's disappeared. Uh, well, I'm, I'm wrapping up the stream soon anyway, so I'm not going to troubleshoot that. I can't be bothered. That's what I was. That's why I thought it didn't work, Alex, because we didn't. You didn't get the like the blood trickling down onto his face, showering in the blood. Oh God. Uh, this was unexpected. Hmm. Let's go for you, because you do the most damage. Let's see if you can grind you down. Uh, you might as well go for it. Might be able to do this. Hey, they've not captured the city yet. Come on, we can do this. 59, so the giant can take two more hits. Then he's still got to deal with the axe throwers. And he's not doing enough damage to outright kill an axe thrower in one shot. So I think we might just be able to scrape this. Miss. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Upgrades for the axe throwers? Nice, there we go. It's fairly clutch, but I think they were just outnumbered. Outclassed, let's face it. Lovely. Uh, it's just a case of probably biding some time. Stick you down there. Lucky my ass. That was just good forward planning. <laughs> it was just optimum garrison layout, I think. That's what that was. No, I'm not doing that. You can just. I'm just going to dismiss a dead body. And then re recruit them. That's how we do that. That's efficiency, boys. Probably just have to win the turn a couple more times until we claim enough land. What the chance of the undead breaking their alliance now and then fucking us over? No, they'd rather cast spells on random elves. That's, that's okay in my book. 69%. We are actually taking more of the land here, aren't we? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe one more turn should do it. I'm quite happy just for this to be wrapped up now. I know Slut Slutbeard hasn't reached the level cap, but 
He's got his unholy dagger, that's the main thing. There we go. The clans, we have overcome. Our adversaries have been quelled for the time being. Well done. But we must be more vigilant in the future and have our scouts on the alert. Huzzah! I'm exhausted. The Dwarven nation's unity was strengthened after the victorious battle against evil. The clans, united under the leadership of Queen Yatahali, had defended their lands. With danger from without now at bay, the clans prepared a celebration in honor of Wotan. Celebrating 69% all the way. Let's get this over with. Let's just transfer over our, our goodies. We want Unholy Dagger. The Banner of Protection. Uh, skull Braces, wasn't it? Yes. B -b -b Boots of the Elements. And because I, th I still think we're going to use it, the Talisman of Re Regeneration. Maybe not. But if we don't use it, it's still worth more than the Ancient Relic. So let's bring that over anyway. Great. Let's go for it. The Valkyries revealed to the Lawmasters the presence of others seeking to steal runic knowledge. The King's Guards kept constant watch over the coveted runes. The Dwarves were unwilling to risk delaying any longer the ceremony which Wotan required of them. The words that Wotan revealed in the scroll threw the Lawmasters into confusion. They studied the sacred texts deep into the night, seeking an explanation for Wotan's weakening spirit. They mouthed at the news that a deity should request their mortal help. Lawmasters urged Queen Yatahali to prepare a ceremony to honor Wotan and thus subvert the approaching Ragnarok. The runes oh, there she is again. collected from far corners of the realm, and the time and was lovely right little beard. with the gods. This sounds easy. Go up to the sacred ceremonial grounds, get pissed. And have a bit of a boozy do to celebrate wartime, being just a fantastic god. Let's just skip all this. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's just showing us where the rights are. We'll we'll review that dialogue at the start of the next stream. I didn't want to get too far into it because we're going to wrap things up here. There we go. Yeah. Um, I think it was worth going for an extra 15 minutes just to get that mission um, under our belts. So I want to thank you very much for joining me this evening. I'll be back with the Disciples on... What day is it today? Thursday. So we're going to do Heroes on Sunday and then back to Disciples on Tuesday. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. I most certainly am. You get yourself to bed, Jamal. I'll be in in a moment. And <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of days' time, if not on... Tuesday. Gonna get up in six hours. Sometimes. Six hours of sleep is all you need. Don't worry. You'll be fine. That's assuming you're gonna get some sleep. Anyway. Have a lovely six hours, Jamal. And I'll see you in a couple of days' time, hopefully. Bye bye for now.